The European continent has seen some significant political changes in the last decades, concerning a rise in far-right anti-establishment and anti-immigration parties in most countries, the relating immigration crisis of 2015, the Brexit vote in 2016, and the following turmoil between the EU and the United Kingdom, as well as the Russian annexation of Crimea and the war in eastern Ukraine. In this series, I will try to take a look at the political leadership across the European continent and give light to development in some of the countries outside the main news coverage in most major nations. After a fiscal crisis in the early 1990s, Sweden joined the EU in 1995. The long dominance of the Social Democratic Party, holding power for 71 out of the last 88 years, was broken by a conservative liberal coalition, who won the election in 2006 and once again in 2010. Since 2010, the anti-immigration party, Sweden Democrats, has broken up the traditional right-left split in the Swedish politics, making it difficult to form majority governments. Since 2014, Prime Minister Stefan Löfven is the head of government consisting of his Social Democrats and the Green Party. And after election 2018, he remained in power with support from the two liberal parties. Much of the political polarization in Sweden during the last few years has revolved around migration. And after a very liberal stance up until the large influx of migrants to the EU in 2015, Sweden today has a more restrictive policy. Norway has since the large oil finds in the North Sea, consecutively ranked as one of the richest and most developed nations in the world. After a period with a Labour-led government under Prime Minister Jens Stoltenberg, now Secretary General of NATO, Erna Solberg has held the position since 2013. She formed government with the Anti-Immigration Progress Party after re-election in 2017, until they left the government in January 2020. Norway to this day stands outside the EU, but has close ties to the Union as a member of the European Economic Area, establishing the free movement of people, goods and services across the Norwegian border. Denmark, much like its northern neighbour Sweden, is a member of the EU, but is, like Norway, also a member of NATO. Mette Fredriksen is the current Prime Minister, leading a one-party social democratic government supported by the Social Liberal Party, the Socialist People's Party and the Red-Green Alliance. Fredriksen's government follows a series of coalition-style governments led by either the Social Democrats or the Conservative Liberals Venstre. The majority of the political parties in Denmark has adopted stricter policies regarding immigration in the last decades, following the rise of the far-right anti-immigration party of the Danish People's Party. In 2019, the party dropped to 8%, down from 21 in 2015 and is currently in opposition. Greenland and the Faroe Islands are self-governing nations within the Kingdom of Denmark and are not members of the EU. Finland is the only Nordic nation to be a member of both the EU and also having adopted the euro in favor of a local currency. This comes after a period of being in a buffer zone between the Soviet Union and the Western states during the Cold War, officially claiming a neutral stance. Much like its northern neighbors, the last few decades has been a time of economic liberalization. But Russia remains an important trade partner with Finland. Unlike the monarchies in the Nordic region, Finland elects a president and a prime minister. The latter currently being Sanna Marin since December 2019. Marin represents the Social Democratic Party and is serving under President Sauli Niinistö from the Liberal Conservative National Coalition Party. Finland also holds close ties to a geographically and linguistically close neighbour of Estonia, who alongside her Baltic sisters of Latvia and Lithuania gained independence after the fall of the Soviet Union, and has taken fast steps to unite with Western nations in joining the EU, the Eurozone and NATO. Juri Rautas is the Prime Minister of Estonia since 2016, representing the Estonian Centre Party. After re-election in 2019, he formed government with the Conservative and the far-right party Ekre, who gained seats on a platform of reducing emigration as well as immigration and taking a more Eurosceptic approach. In Estonia, as well as in Latvia, many of non-Estonian or Latvian descent did not acquire citizenship after the independence in the early 90s, living in a sort of stateless limbo ever since. Still today, the reality for more than 10% of the Latvian population. Even though steps have been taken to naturalize individuals and ensure that all people acquire citizenship at birth. This is still a political tension in the region. Arthur's Christiani Karinj 
is the sitting Prime Minister since 2019, despite representing the smallest party in the parliament, Liberal Conservative New Unity. His coalition includes five centre-right parties. After becoming a popular politician under President Dalia Grybauskaite in the mid-2010s, Saulius Guarneris was the top candidate for the Green Conservative Lithuanian Farmers and Greens Union in the election of 2016, leading to him being elected Prime Minister after negotiations with the Social Democratic Party. Iceland, like Norway, is a member of the EEA since 1994, but not a full member of the European Union. A liberalization of the banking industry led to the country being hit hard by the financial crisis of 2008. After a few tumultuous years, the economy was back in positive numbers, reinforced by a growing tourism industry. Prime Minister Sigmundur Gunnlaugsson resigned after being involved in the Panama paper scandal of 2016, and the snap election in 2017 led to Katrin Jakobsdottir taking the role of head of government, representing her left-green movement in a coalition with centre-right parties in the Progressive Party and the Independence Party. In the next video, we will focus on the nations of the Balkans.